Catching everyone! I am the Crash Landed and welcome to this a little different video than usual. So I have something I want to try out today, but before I start I need to talk to you about some things. The first thing is regarding the last of videos recently. So you may not have seen a video on Sunday or Wednesday, and I have some reasons for, for why those were lost. Or not lost, but yeah, why I didn't release any. So. The first one is pretty obvious, on Sunday it was Christmas and the Saturday too, and I usually record on the day before I release them, so I would have recorded it on Saturday, no way I could have the time to do that, and on Sunday even less time, so that's why, sorry. And on Wednesday, that is because I've downloaded something that I will reveal on Sunday's video, and I'm so excited for that, and hope you are too, so stay tuned for that. Secondly, I got some new headsets for my setup. They are actually virtual 7.1 sounds. It sounds so good actually. They are the best sound quality I've ever heard in some headsets. But yeah, so when I installed the software that came with them, it was like a mini CD, mini DVD. It was so small. So when I did that, it re reset all my audio settings. I didn't really like that, but I'll have to reconfigure them then. So in the following videos, like three videos forward, we'll maybe have some varying sound quality or sound volumes, but I'll have to li live with that. I'll need to get a good balance between the audios. So yeah, also a little bad thing with these was they give me four freaking meters of cable. It completely destroyed my cable management, but I kind of got it back to good. So yep. Okay, let's get started. Here I have it, Optifine for 1.11.2. Yeah, I really wanna try that. So, I really don't need it for vanilla Minecraft, as I already have like 200 average FPS, I don't know. But I wanna see how much of an increase in FPS I can get by installing this. They say on the website that 200% plus is common. I really don't believe that. It's a bit overkill. It sounds like as I would get like four or five hundred FPS. No one needs that even, but anyways, if it works good in vanilla, I think I wanna try to put it in the pioneers, as I may get rid of those frame stutterings when loading new chunks. And you get the zoom feature too, which is always nice to have. So before we get started, we need to check that our VSync is off in the control panel of Nvidia's graphics cards. I have an Nvidia one, so yep. I wanna open that up, it's under handle 3D settings, I think that's how it is, it's in Swedish for now, but you'll kinda see it, it's the second last it should be, you turn that to off, I usually have an on this, because I don't like screen tearing, and that's one thing that you, you'll get with VSync off, so make sure you have that off, to see the max FPS you can get from the graphics card. If you have it on, it will lock it to the refresh rate of the monitor, which you don't want. It will only show you like, in my case, 60 FPS, as my panel is 60 Hz. You may have 120 and 144 maybe. So yeah, that's off. Then we want to start Minecraft and see what kind of FPS numbers we have right now. So here we are in a newly generated world. And we kind of just want to fly around with this F3 menu open and see what kind of FPSs we have. Can you say FPSs by the way? <laughs> well, so it's hovering around about 200, 250. Yeah, just fly around for a bit and I'm gonna take like every 5 seconds and make an average from that. Look at that, 280. 270 and we got some chunk errors there. 250, yeah, round about there. Then we are going to install Optifine and see what we can get. Look at that, 300. So if the they are right on the website, I could get 600 FPS from this. Let's see if that's true. Alright, we are back on our desktop and let's click this icon here. And it will install it for us. In the me You want to choose the folder you want to install it in. In this case, vanilla is in .minecraft. So yeah, you can choose your own if you want, and I think install should be good. And it's already done, perfect. Let's put it back here on my second screen, and let's see if we can get more FPS from this. 
So I know you need to configure a new profile in your launcher with Optifine. Oh, it's already did it. So yeah, it did it for me. Nice. I have my all my options here. This is the one without Optifine and this is with Optifine. If you didn't have that installed for you, it like, like didn't do it for you, you can go to edit profile and use version and there should be an Optifine version for you. And now let's just start it again. Okay, so we are back in the world where, le where we left it, and now let's bring up the F3 three menu. Boom! Oh, well, 300. I see a little increase. Oh, that's pretty good. Even though it isn't 500, it's pretty good, but... And it says we have it installed, so... Well, I got a little boost of it. Let's see in the settings. We get a lot more settings now. So performance, smooth FPS on, stabilizing. I really don't need that, but uh, let's see what it says. You can choose everything you want here. We got other lagometer, and we have show FPS. Okay, so we can do that instead. Let's try what that is all about. You can turn off everything. Oh, I I want to try before I I exit this recording. If I turn everything to the lowest, what will I get? So first, let's just fly around for a bit and see what we can get from this. Oh wait, did I turn that on? Yeah, I'll have it off for now. Oh, oh all. Uh, no, not that one. Okay, so now we have around about 300, 280 FPS. And I will do the same, like take every 5 seconds and make an average from that. Yeah, 300 to 95, and you get this zoom feature too, too, which is kind of cool. Which button is it? Controls. Um, zoom. C. Ah, look at that. Awesome. Oh, when I zoom in, I get 600. 400. That is cool. 500 FPS. That is really insane. You, no one needs even more than 60, really. Yeah, so Optifine is pretty good, and I get this awesome feature. I really recommend it, actually. So yeah, let's try to put everything to the lowest and see what we can get from that. Fast. Uh, oh, now we can... Okay, so it didn't increase it anymore. Uh, off, off. Shaders. Oh, you can put shaders in here now. Oh, it looks so looks so ugly. Uh, all off. Details. Uh, let's leave that for now. Uh, quality. Uh, oh, anti-aliasing. I like that feature. It's so good. Uh, we need to check that out too. So we have random mobs. Should be good for now. And bam. Not really an increase. Yeah, definitely. 400. If I zoom, 700, 800. Oh, that is actually insane. Now, put this on. A thousand. Ha, I don't need this much. So you may not see what's going on here if you're on a smaller phone, because this is pretty small. You see, these edges of this block, they look pretty jaggy, almost spiky. And my hand too. Yeah, there you got the tearing too. So, you look at that. Mm, doesn't look that good. Looks, you see more here. Ugh. It doesn't really look like 3D to me. So, now when you try to put on... Where is it? Quality. Anti-aliasing. Oh, you need to restart? Oh wow, why? Okay, then I'll restart then. I put it on 8 and see if there is any change to this block. I can already see such a big change. Oh, it looks so smooth and good. If you're on a computer screen, you may see it. Look at this edge here. It's almost completely straight, If even if it's uh, like not straight line. You know, it's hard to make like curved lines in a pixelated monitor, but this anti-aliasing works really good to make it look good. What, what if we don't even need that much? 2 to 16. It does actually put down your performance a bit, but that I'll have to live with if I want it. 
Maybe two or four should be good. So I'll leave it on that and see how it turns out. Yeah, anti-aliasing per on four is pretty good in my opinion, and it keeps my FPS good even. So yeah, I love this mod. It is worth noting that in this test I use an NVIDIA GeForce GDX 750 Ti from Gigabyte, featuring 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, and a base clock of 1033 MHz and a boost of 1111 MHz. The render distance I use is 16 chunks. So here you can see a comparison on with and without Optifine. So I decided to take a measurement of the FPS every second in 30 seconds and calculate an average from that. So without Optifine I managed to get an average of 239.5 FPS, which is awesome even without Optifine. But it was as I thought. Optifine didn't increase the FPS by 200%, but it did increase it by 16%, which is a good increase, I think. And that equals to around about an average of 277.5 FPS, which is really good, actually. Optifine does work. I guess we come to the conclusion. Yes, Optifine does actually give you more FPS. And I especially recommend it for you who don't really have any powerful computer to play on, it does give you a few more FPSs to work with. In, ma in my case it gave me 38 more, and that is awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this little comparison video, and it was really fun to make it actually. So the next video will be out on Sunday as usual, I will try to go back to the normal timetable again. So on Sunday's video it will be awesome, and I'm really looking forward to it. So without further to do, if you like this video, please bam that like button with a loud ka -ching. and to see my videos more easily, please consider clicking that subscribe button, and why not share it and leave a comment. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Uh, candle, oh yeah, that has to go on the table right here. Ooh, that looks so good. Oh, I love this mod.